Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. Andre Shamar Freeman can pick any lock. He can pick dead bolts, which means that when you think that you are safe behind a dead bolt in your house, you're not. He's an expert at picking locks. He has over 38 convictions going into people's homes and easily so because he was trained by an expert there in Barbados how to pick locks and that is his profession okay now to give him a mere four years left let's say he got eight years after doing this forever and forever he's been doing it for forever Lorian Smith Bovell needs to look at What's going on in the justice system there in Barbados? He has been committing burglaries over and over and over again. He is only about, what, 38 years old? He has been committing burglaries all the time. He is known. This is something that is known. He is notorious, okay? Andre Shamar Freeman is notorious for breaking locks and entering homes and robbing you. And you're telling me that you are going to impose a nine year sentence on someone who has over 33 dozen convictions? You're a nine year sentence? And then because he pled guilty and they know to do that, when they are arrested, they know how to do that because it's a third off. They know what to do. And time spent on remand, remand and that kind of stuff. What? He has, what, four years left behind bars? So he's 30, what, I say 38. He's about 30. They're saying 35. I'm sorry. He is 35 years old. 35 years old. He has like four more years. He'll be a young person, early 40s by the time he spends the four years plus less he'd be less than 40 getting out so he's going to get out and rob more houses he's going to get out and rob more houses what your red stripe should do is when he gets out he right now he lives in the well he lived in the prospect st james area now, when he gets out, the the right stripe should go around to neighbors and let them know he got out. He's out. So the deadbolt on your house, you can have two, three, whatever. That, that's not going to stop him from getting in. He's an expert at breaking them. He's an expert at getting in two homes. It's a scary thing. It's a scary thing to think that no matter what you put, you're not safe. And even surveillance, I mean, yeah, you can capture him on surveillance, but yet he can still get into your house. You have kids in your home. You have maybe a wife, your husband, you, you know, you, you, there are people in houses. So even though surveillance could be there to say, hey, it was Shamar again or Andre again, you were violated. You have been violated. It's a funny, funny feeling. Believe me, it's a funny feeling. So nine years after he is a recidivist, a recidivist, he gets nine years. So all he has to do is pull a Winston when he gets out and put on a skull cap, you know, go and say that he's like a Muslim or something and, you know, walk around, you know, pretending that he's changed. That's all he needs to do because, you know, he's going to come back and rob you again. Andre Shamar Freeman, when he gets out, He's going to rob you again. The most you should expect is for your red stripe to alert you a couple of days, maybe a week or so before he gets out, that he's getting out. He's coming back. That's the most that you should expect. That's the least. The least you should expect is that you are warned when he's out. The newspapers should also let you know when these people are out. You, there should be a warning. I can't be the only one. I am, I don't live there. I cannot be the only one sounding the alarm. There should be alarm so you know when these people get out. Okay? Mark your calendar. Mark your calendar. He's going to be out in four years, 276 days. Mark your calendar. So in about five years, 
about five years, this 40 year old at that time will be out looking for a house to rob. Share Veronica.